Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence Product Expert. Today we're going to show you how to find out if your software is up to date on your unit and we're also going to show you how to create a NIF file, which is a Navico information file. So if you call into customer service, it provides details about your unit to us to help you much easier. Don't forget guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Lawrence YouTube channel. One of the reasons you want to make sure you have the latest software on your unit is not only do we add new features through the software updates, but we also go in and correct any issues that may have been found on the software that was previously released. So if there's something that's causing your sonar to skip or act kind of funny, we put those fixes in there because we want you to have the best tools possible while you're out there on the water. Now another reason that we talk about the NIF files and what they're useful for is if you call into customer service because you have an issue, if you create that NIF file and send it into customer service, that provides us with information about the units that you have on the boat. It actually tells us what software versions you're running. It tells us anything that you have connected to the network and what versions of software they're running. So if we know that there's a software issue, we can find that just from the file. Okay guys, sometimes if you call into customer service or maybe if you're talking with somebody, the question you may get is, what version of software you're running? Is it up to date? So the way to figure that out is, obviously you're going to go to lawrence.com, go to support and the downloads page for the software updates, and you can see the latest version of software right there. So on your unit, to find the software version, you're going to press your pages key, then you're going to go to settings, and then on the right hand side of the screen we're going to go to about. So if somebody asks you to go to the about screen, this is the screen we're asking about. Now as you can see there's some information here. It tells you this is an HDS Live 12 version 18.3 which is the software version and then the application number which we may ask you for sometimes is the 61.1.69 on this unit. So this is our current software release for the HDS Live so that means this unit is up to date. Now if it were not up to date, it would have a different application number here. And then we would ask you to go to the Lowrance website, again go to the support page, and then you would download the software for your unit and then just follow the instructions on updating the unit. So another thing that you may get asked for when you call customer service, other than what version of software that you're running, if you're having some really kind of weird issues with your unit, we may ask you to provide a NIF file, which is just stands for a Navico information file. So it tells us information about the unit and everything that you've got connected to your network. Now the easiest way to do that is again, we're at the about screen. You're going to select support and then you're going to select create a report. So you'll just go in here, fill in some information. Again, some things are required such as email addresses and stuff like that. So let's just go. So we put in an email address. Yep. Home country is required. So we're going to scroll down here all the way to the bottom for USA. Other stuff is optional. So now if we had screenshots, um, we could add the screenshots there. So I wanted to select that screenshot. It's in the NIF file and now I hit save. So I'm saving this to a memory card. If you're connected to Wi-Fi you can just upload it, but typically you're going to want to save it to a memory card and then email that to us. So I'm going to tell it we're going to save it to the top memory card. As you can see it's created a report. It gives you this all this information about it. Now if we want to confirm we're going to press the pages button and we go to storage and if we look at the top card you can see right here is the Lawrence HDS 12 Live and it's a .nif file which that's the file you're you're going to want to send to us. So all you have to do is drop that in the email to customer support when they ask for it and that gives us a lot of information that we need. So that's how you kind of find out if you have the latest software on your unit and how you create a NIF file if we need one for customer service. Don't forget if you like this video give us a thumbs up Subscribe to the Lawrence YouTube channel because every week we're going to be talking about a new topic and if you're a subscriber to the channel, you're going to know about it.